And hello there, welcome to my desk tour. Today I'm going to be showing you around my working from home setup. I started my new job four weeks ago now, so I've been working here Monday to Friday. This is my parents' house, by the way. They have very kindly let me set up my workspace in the spare room of the house. I'll probably only be here for a few months. I'm hoping to move out eventually and hopefully get into an office, but for now, this is where I am, I'm happy with it. It's great that I have a quiet environment to work during the week and yeah, I'm gonna show you around. I decided I wanted to have my desk looking out of the bay window just cause there's so much natural light here and it just makes the day a bit more interesting when I can just take a look outside. The slight downside is that it's a west facing window so when the sun goes down in the afternoon it gets really low and really bright in the eyes so I do have to draw the curtains. And the curtains are this lovely yellow blue pattern that my parents picked out many years ago. So I do draw these round every afternoon when it gets a bit too bright. But honestly, it's a very minor issue and I'd much rather have too much light in the window than be sitting in the back of a really dingy room. The table I'm using is actually a table we used to use for barbecues. I'm calling it my desk, but really it's a garden table. But it functions, you know? And the biggest perk is it's really big. I like to spread out my work and I can very much do that on this table. It's got space on it for all of my equipment. So yeah, very happy with sourcing this garden table. This is my desk chair. It is a massive director's chair. It technically belongs to my dad, but my mum moved into his workspace and found this chair really uncomfy for whatever reason. And so I said, I'll have it. So that worked out quite well for me, really. It's actually on a rug at the moment, so it doesn't move so well, but it is on wheels. It does spin, it goes up and down. See, what more do you want in a chair? Okay, so here is my techie stuff. We'll start with my laptop. This is a laptop that was sent to me by my company for me to use. It's Dell, but I can't tell you much else about the model. I have no clue, but it's good. It functions. It lets me do my work. I've got it plugged into the mains pretty much all the time because I like it to be fully charged. I don't want a disaster where the power cuts out and then I have no charge on my laptop because I've nearly had that happen before. The laptop is on a laptop stand. So if I lift this up, we can see the stand a bit more clearly. It's Boyata. I ordered it from Amazon earlier this week, actually. The stand is a very new addition to my setup, but I just prefer my laptop a little bit more raised. I like the laptop on a level with my monitor, which was also sent to me by the company, connected to my laptop by an HDMI cable there. Um, we've got a few other cables around here, but luckily they're all just pushed to the back of the table where I don't have to worry about them. Massive monitor actually, really wide, which is perfect for when I'm working on big spreadsheets. I really do need two screens for my work because I'm often needing to compare numbers between files, reconcile data, and I often have to have different applications and software open at the same time. So yeah, having two screens is is very handy. <laughs> then in front of my screens, I have a wired keyboard and along with that, a wireless mouse. Now this was not sent to me by my company. My company sent me a wired mouse, which is okay. I don't mind a wired mouse, but my dad had a spare wireless one going and said I could use it. So I thought, why not? It's quite nice to have less wires in my working space. So yes, this is an anchor mouse, I believe. We've had it for quite a while. Moving over to the left of my computer, I have my filing tray. This is where I put any papers that I need that are relevant to work that I'm doing on one day so that I can grab them easily. On the top here, I have a sheet which has lots of Excel shortcuts on it because I'm often using Excel. I'm not gonna show you the underside though with all the information on because it was made by someone at my company and it's not okay for me to share that on the internet, but that is something that I would grab quickly on a day. Also tucked in under here, I have a Wilco refill pad. Surprise, surprise. We all know I love Wilco. It's just a standard notepad for making notes. 
I am trying to make more of my notes digital and on my computer, but I'm just so used to using pen and paper. A lot of the time on my job at the moment, I'm on calls and project supervisors are telling me lots and lots of information and I want to jot it down quickly. And I'm just so much faster at writing by hand than typing at the moment. So I opt for pen and paper, but that might change. I'm trying to transition to completely digital notes, but we'll see how that goes. Next to my filing tray, I have my pen pot, my pink pen pot. I'll be honest with you, the only thing I've really used out of this pen pot so far in the first four weeks is these mechanical pencils, Papermate mechanical pencils. I am a big fan of mechanical pencils because you don't have to sharpen them. And also, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I hate having to cross things out, even if it's just rough notes. So I really don't like writing in pen that often and I mostly opt for pencils. I've got a few coloured pens in there, some scissors, highlighters, but I haven't really used them. <laughs> I also have a stapler and some paper clips here, which are really handy. And then we have my planner, which is what I use to organize myself at the moment. So this is actually an academic planner. So it runs from September to August, I believe. So I've literally just started using it last month. It was very kindly gifted to me by Ruby Granger and Pumpkin Productivity. I absolutely love it. Let me just find a random page to show you. So here you can see there's a weekly spread with so much space to make your daily to-do list, space to tick things off. You can write down events, reminders for the day, commitments, hours to spend working. It's just the perfect planner to organise my work. And I'm also going to use it to organise my studies when I start studying again. So this is a permanent placement on my desk. Over to the other side of the desk, I have my big spotty lever arch file. This is what I use to file all of my notes for my work. That just sits here so I can whip out relevant project notes, training notes when I need them. Behind the folder, I have this mysterious bag, which contains my wired headset. This is the headset here. I think I've shown it in a video before. Um, I'm not gonna bother untangling that, but this is what I use when I'm on video calls. I'm literally in calls for a lot of my days at the moment because I'm training on the job. I don't know what I'm doing. I need people to give me instructions and answer my questions. So I'm quite frequently talking to other people who are working remotely. And yeah, next to my wired headset is my glasses case, which contains my glasses, which you have probably all seen before. I do not have good eyesight, but today I am wearing my contact lenses, so they are not needed today. Oh, actually I missed over here, my coaster. I am frequently having coffee and biscuits while I'm working because I'm that healthy. Um, so I need a coaster. This one was given to me a few years ago by a friend. I actually haven't had Prosecco in recent months. Underneath the desk, I have my waste paper basket just for convenience. I can chuck in any papers I don't need. I'm sitting on a pink rug, purely for decorative purposes. Um, but my dog does like lying on this rug, actually. He very much enjoys snuggling down in the rug and sitting next to me while I'm working, which is very cute. You like it on this rug, don't you? Yeah, you do. <laughs> and then you can see behind there a few of the cables. Bit of a mess at the back there. Not very exciting, you can see my extension cable. One thing I don't have currently is a lamp because it's been summer, so in the hours that I've been working, it's always been daylight, so I haven't needed any extra light. However, I am planning on putting a lamp in eventually. I've got one in my room that I used to use at uni. In the next month or so, I'm going to be ordering study materials and using this space as a study space as well. I am now registered as a student at the IFOA, the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. So now all that's left for me to do before I get studying is decide on which modules I'm taking and then order my study materials. And yeah, that's about it really. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content relating to my new job, please do give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram. And yeah, thank you for watching guys. See you soon with another video. Bye.